Hi guys, let's discuss tire marking. I have another video on rim marking if you're interested I put a link in the description. Now the most common here it is the most common marking is this one 195 65 R15 basically what it stands for is first one if you see from the top of the wheel this is 195 millimeters the width of the tire so 195 the width now 65 if you take 65 percent around that if you take 65 percent of your tires width this is going to be the height of the tire so 65 stands for 65 percent of the width of the tire is its height and now R15 is basically the size of the rim this is 15 inch rim so the tire with R15 will fit on 15 inch rims this is another place where the size of the tire is specified 195 65R15 it's followed by 95T M plus S and the symbol here. 95 is a load index reference. It corresponds to how much load can your tire bear. T is a speed index. Different letters here relates to maximum speed that the tire can be used for. M plus S with the symbol on the right stands for mud and snow. That means that the tire will ensure performance on mud, sand and fresh or melting snow. On some tires, especially winter tires, you will find rotation indication. This is placed on the tire in form of an arrow and is made to ensure that when you install the tires and drive forward, you can check that the arrow aligns with the movement direction of your tire. Rotation indication is placed on tires where rotation direction is critical to tire performance. You can only rotate this tire in this direction. If you install it incorrectly and the tire will work like that, you will lose all the performance which is very critical to your safety. Always check rotation indication when you have installed your tires on the car. Arrow should align with rotation direction when you drive forward. DOT stands for Department of Transportation and this sign basically confirms that this tire is made in accordance with US rules. And same for Europe, E4 is an approval number in accordance with ECE, which is Economic Commission for Europe. On your tire, you will also find production date. This is four digit number where two first digit stands for the week of production and two last digit stands for the year. So basically, my production date should be read as week 33 of 2015. On many tires you will also find marking for treadwear, traction and temperature grading. Threadwear basically means the durability of your tire. Traction is how well your tire behaves during braking on the wet surface and temperature is how well will it dissipate heat. Remember that this is given by the manufacturer and related to other products from the manufacturer's product line. So this shouldn't be compared between two different manufacturers.